Well, there were dueling demonstrations in Albany today regarding the controversial changes in the bail system as set forth in Governor Cuomo's criminal justice reforms. But will either side get what they want? Channel 2's Dave McKinley says politics may decide that question as we continue to hold people in power accountable. First this morning, members of law enforcement and prosecutors from around the state who say they were never consulted when the reforms were pushed through as part of the state budget last year, joined at the state capitol to decry the changes, which make a host of felonies, including certain forms of homicide, assault, even possession of child porn, as among the crimes one can be accused of, but for which bail can no longer be set. They were joined by Western New York State Senator Pat Gallivan, who previously was a state trooper and an Erie County Sheriff. We need to pull this back today. We need to fix this and we need to give judges the, the discretion back to consider what we should be considering first and foremost, public safety. Is that true? No. A few hours later, in the same building, supporters of the changes rallied. They say cash bail has always been unfair to the poor, who are forced to prepare their defense, often for months while awaiting trial, from behind bars, simply because they lack the resources of more well-heeled defendants to post bail. And keep their jobs, and keep their homes, and pay their bills, and fight from the outside. Changing the system, which we started to do, is complicated and then has a number of ramifications. Governor Cuomo in the meantime has only indicated that perhaps adjustments to the new laws are needed without specifying anything more during his recent State of the State address. There's no doubt this is still a work in progress and there are other changes that have to be made. Local police are also making their feelings known through different means. Just today we received this press release from Albion Police Chief Roland Nenny announcing the arrest of three suspects on felony burglary charges, but it contains language you wouldn't have seen last Last year, noting that because of the New York State justice reform, the two adult offenders were released on appearance tickets and that all of the offenders have also been recently arrested and released for other burglaries because of justice reform and concluding by stating this is another example of law abiding citizens of our community being placed in harm's way because of law enforcement's ability to protect our citizens being hampered by legislation. Now, we did mention that politics may play a role in where all of this ends up. That's because even though the Democrats who control the state legislature pass these reforms, their state party chairman, Jay Jacobs, is now telling the New York Post that some members of his party could have problems getting reelected if these reforms aren't modified. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.